Hi, Martin here with another video. And today I want to discuss creating focus modes for different situations on Mac. So maybe you have a MacBook that you use for work and home as well. So this video will show you how you can utilize focus mode options to customize what apps and people can notify you. So let's get started. So firstly, go ahead and open up system preferences, then head to notifications and focus. So from here, we have two tab options, notifications and focus. So if we click on the focus tab, you'll see this is where we can add and edit our different focus modes. So you can see that we have a default do not disturb focus mode here, but at the bottom of this left hand pane, you'll see a plus icon. So if we click on that plus icon, there are a couple of default uh, focus modes that you could add. So you've got gaming, mindfulness, personal, reading, and work. But let's go ahead and create a custom focus mode. So from here, you can give your focus mode a name. So I'm gonna call mine home. So I'm gonna create a focus mode. So this is a focus mode on my work device uh, for home, okay? Um, so color, I'm gonna go ahead and select this light blue here. Uh, and then you can select an icon. So I'm making this my home mode. So I'm gonna select the picture of the house. So go ahead and click add and you'll see that it's added our new focus mode over here on this left hand panel. So make sure that focus mode is selected on the left hand side and then you'll see some options over here on the right. So first of all, over here on the right, we've got our slider. So this allows us to turn on and off the focus mode. You'll also notice in this top hand bar, there's this moon icon. So if I click, that is the focus mode that we are currently in. So by default, it's the do not disturb, but it's grayed out, which indicates that it's not on. If I went here and turned it on, you'd see that it lights up. Okay, so my home mode, if I activate, I know I'm in home mode because my icon will be added to that top bar. Next, we have probably the most important part, which is the allow notifications from, and then we have two options here. So, this is essentially uh, reducing or allowing notifications from specific people or specific apps. So by default, the notifications will be off for people and apps. It'll be like a do not disturb mode. So, but you can go in and specify what you'd like. So if I select apps and hit the plus icon, um, I could say, let's let the app store send me notifications. So I wanna know if I need to update something or something like that. So go ahead and click add, and then you can see that the app store app on my Mac is allowed to send me notifications. So you can do this for many apps and you can also go to people and you can add a plus and you can specify people from your contact list who are allowed to notify you. So by default, all those notifications, so if you've got your uh, mail or Outlook, or all those things, it will turn those off. So if you're at home just trying to watch some Netflix or something like that, creating a focus mode will allow you to make sure that it's not constantly pinging and putting you back into work mode. So the next box, we have options to turn on automatically. So if we hit the plus icon, we see, you can see we've got three options. We've got add time-based automation, add location-based automation, and add app-based automation. So as an example, let's add a time-based automation. So I'm gonna make it so that my home mode automatically starts um, at 5 p.m. every day. So I get home at five, my work notifications and so forth turn off. And I'll do that until about 8 a.m. the next day. I'm gonna do that for every weekday. So now Monday to Friday at 5 p.m., my focus home mode will automatically be turned on. So you can see 
uh, the, the other options you have, so say if you open up a specific app, it will notify, but also the location. So you can say when I get to my home location, then automatically turn on my home focus mode. Um, the last option that we have uh, down here, where it says share focus status, uh, will allow you to um, essentially let people know that you're in a focus mode if they try and contact you. Uh, so kind of a great way to just let people know why you might not be getting back to them straight away. So there you have it, a great inbuilt feature on the Mac um, to help you kind of, it's obviously lots of different uh, focus modes that you create, but I found like this a very simple way to really help you switch from kind of work mode to home mode, particularly if you are using the same device uh, in both places. So um, I encourage you to give it a go. And if this video has been useful, please give it a like, comment below and subscribe for more videos. Thanks and I'll see you next time.